Hey guys, Sam Thrash here from Fall Obsession coming to you with another weekly Tricks of the Trade. This week we're going to talk about hunting small properties. This is something that I do have some personal experience with as for four to five years stretch I was hunting on a piece of property that it was either 70 acres or less. So I kind of got to learn by trial and error exactly what to do and what not to do on, on a smaller piece of land. So number one, don't overdo it. Um, if you're going out there and throwing up stands and feeders and setups on every single trail, every single corner of that property, you are drastically changing the environment for those deer and therefore um, you're going to push the wildlife out of there. So I hunted on a 70 acre piece of property for a while and I had around five to six different stand setups going at one time. And that seemed to work out pretty good. It also depends on kind of how your property is laid out. but for me, you know, five six that seemed to work out pretty good. Um, I did hunt for one year on a piece of property that was 30 acres. That was rough, but we only had around two stand setups going at one time, um, and that seemed to work out good. I probably could have gotten away with three, but two was fine. Number two, recognize opportunities. Deer are only going to come onto that property for a food source or just passing through, and you're going to have groups of deer that are normal to that area that are, you commonly see. There'll be groups of does, fawns, and small bucks. You might even have a bigger buck or two uh, coming through there on a regular basis. But if you see a deer that you are not familiar with, that you have not seen before, do not hesitate to take the shot because there's a good chance that you're not going to see that deer again. Finally, number three, have a food source. If it's a feeder, a small food plot, it doesn't matter. Just have something to bring those deer on there because if you don't, they have no reason to come over there. They're just going to pass through on occasion and you're going to have a lot of frustrating hunts. So put something out there, take the time to manage it and keep it up and running. That way you give those deer a reason to come to you. Thanks guys for tuning in again to Tricks of the Trade. Hope you guys enjoyed and be sure to check us out again next week for another installment. Thank you all.